safety first. So this area that I'm gonna go try and catch some fish at, it's a creek called Santilla Creek, or locally known as Big Santilla Creek. Um, I spent some time out here before I shot some drone footage a few weeks ago, which I had to put together a nice little video for that, so be sure and check that out. That'll be on my channel as well. This is hatchery supported waters, which means they stock it pretty regularly. They stock with uh, trout, which both rainbow and brook trout, I believe. And then there's also some wild trout in there as well. So it's a little bit late in the season since they last, since they last stocked it. So hopefully we'll catch some holdover fish. I'm gonna try to get off the road a little bit and catch some of these holes where there might not be as much pressure um, on the fish. So we'll go check it out, see if we have any luck. It's starting to sprinkle again, but uh, we might be able to stay fairly dry for the next couple hours. swap over into the muck boots probably not gonna wear waders right now not gonna be doing any wading although this is supposed to be a really good creek for that um, I did confirm this is hatchery supported so they do stock it which is nice it's a cold stream so cold water trout love cold water just got this few couple weeks ago seems to be working out really well it's got everything in there I could need for a few hours and then some it's like magic got a fishing pole there Bring the phone for photos. We might bring this waterproof case and the side. Got my keys. Pretty excited. Been uh, antsy and anxious to do a little bit of fishing since I've been back down here. So I do have my fishing license. I got a non-resident inland fishing license which covers everything inland. So I couldn't fish any of the coastal beaches or anything like that, but uh, we're covered in here. Let's see what we can find down here. Ooh, it looks like a nice little hole. It's right off the gravel road, forest access road, so we'll see. Looks like some good waters for trout. So I'm gonna be using this uh, little blue trout magnet. And I got a ugly stick GX2, um, pretty much the ultralight, which is, you know, good two to six pounds. So should be good on this here. Give a few casts and see what we can catch here. I'm some brown water here. I've had a lot of luck on the brown trout magnet. This one's blue, but I think all of the trout that I've caught in North Carolina have been on that brown one, interestingly, interestingly enough. Meander down here a little ways. There we go, good cast right in that current. A 
All right. I'm gonna switch the colors here. Go for brown. So, I added the brown trout magnet on there. Got a little bobber set up here as well. I'm gonna try to do some uh, different technique here. Just kind of just throw it in that current, let it float down. That'll let me get it out there a little further. Ooh, had a bite there. All right, look like a good spot there. She went under, bobbered down. Missed it. Fish on. Didn't even want to put up a fight. Oh, little sucker. Little sucker fish. Barely got him there. I'm sorry, you're sucking. Little guy. So I can get him back in the water here. Sorry. Well, nothing to write home about, but little guy, little sucker fish. Brown, that's the way to go. Different color here. Ah, leaves. Leaf. Branch. Branch on. Well, I think I'm gonna move on down the road or up the road. Such is the way of fishing. Make sure you don't forget anything. All right, back to the truck. Real long hike. Oh, forgot something. Forgot something real important. The keys, please. All right, hiking into the next spot here. Pretty little hole. Ooh, it's perfect right here. Let's see if we can catch some, huh? This might be the spot for the uh, float. Not a single bite over here. A lot of leaves. Alrighty, well, we keep making our way downstream.
Well, folks, that might wrap it up for me. Seeing as how I'm just getting tangles and not having any luck. Still fun though. Did catch one little sucker. I'm a sucker for sucker fish. Well, I gotta say, that was uh, not quite what I was expecting, but still fun. So I'm gonna get all packed up here and go find a camp for the night, make some fire, or sorry, make some dinner. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be about it. Catch you guys at camp. So, made it to camp, got her set up, also ran down to the lake real briefly, and took a quick little bath, nothing like I did yesterday, so sorry you missed out on that one today. I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started, and uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of like a veggie stir fry kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to dig some stuff out of this box in here. A little bit of struggling and a lot of noise later. There she is. So I got some veggies, some kale, do the rest of those mushrooms. I'm also going to cook up some rice and do, do a little stir fry. Knife. Pan. Mm. I'll put a little bit of butter in there just to keep everything from sticking. Let's go in there. Cover that and jet bowls are really kind of hard and finicky to try to get anything to kind of simmer on so without putting it out like I just did. Simmer down, right? Simmer down. That stuff will cook down, so it looks like a lot, but it'll cook down really quick. On she goes. Okay. It's been cooking for a few minutes now. I'm gonna throw some rice in there. Rice is always hard to judge when, you, when it comes to how much you need to cook. I always feel like I make too much rice, but is there such thing as too much rice? Is there such thing as too much rice? You guys tell me down in the comments below. Oh, hello. Me love this food long time. That's probably gonna give me some hate later, but I'm sorry. That's the beauty of the interwebs. Oh, yeah. Let's put some in here for lunch tomorrow. Because I do not eat, need to eat all this tonight. Although, my eyes are bigger than my belly. Oh no. See that, it's melting that plastic, so. Maybe let's not do that yet. So maybe this food is not BPA free. Well, might have to wait till it's cooled down. Oh, I got a Tupperware, actually. Now we're thinking. Back to our regular scheduled show. This is hot food safe. I don't think any plastic melted into the food, so I'm okay with it. Not to mention it's hard to know what we really consume nowadays anyways. Mass production of foods and stuff. But these veggies right here are actually organic, stress-free, 
and I believe they're cage free veggies as well. Um, I think they're more like the free range, so and they were probably talked to very sweetly while they were growing, which is why I got them. Is it really an episode without you guys seeing me eat the food that I just made? I would think not. Whew. Also, I've got neighbors tonight and he's being super loud. So when that's done boiling, I'm gonna get that cleaned up and that cleaned up and everything put away. And uh, then I'm gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It's only seven o'clock, but I feel tired. And it probably didn't help that I woke up last night a couple times during the rain. Cause I was really worried about everything getting wet inside. So hopefully it doesn't rain tonight. I think there's a slight chance a couple times, but nothing major. So fingers crossed. I don't want to wake up a bunch. I like to get a good night's sleep. And that is looking more and more comfortable as the evening goes on. Got my PJs on. We're ready. We're ready to be back here for the evening. Well, folks, it's about that time again. Time to wrap it up for the evening, call it a night, and try again tomorrow. Certainly appreciate it if you guys have been watching the stuff that I have put up so far. It takes a little bit of time to put these videos together, so if you guys are liking them, sharing them, telling others about it, hopefully we can inspire some other people to get out there and try these things. So I'd say a lot of people are missing out if you can't try to make this happen. So thanks again, appreciate it. And uh, hope you guys all have a good night. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it's officially thunderstorming in December in North Carolina. So I'm in coffin mode again. Got the sides put down on the topper. And uh, we're back to normal cruising mode. So I'm cool with that for the night. I'm going to call it a night, crash hard, and uh, we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning.